Hello, my name is Beth Plott. I'm the Imprint Program Manager for Alliance Science and Technology. Imprint stands for the Improved Performance Research Integration Tool. It is a manpower, personnel, and training prediction tool owned by the U.S. Army Research Laboratory and developed by Alliance Science and Technology. In this video, I'm going to provide six tips for beginner Imprint users. Imprint offers three different model types to analyze different aspects of human and system performance. Imprint includes operations, maintenance, and forest mission types. Figuring out which type or types of model to include in your analysis is the first place you should start. Each imprint analysis file can contain multiple models across all three types. An analysis consists of just one model, or it could have two operations models, three maintenance models, and one force model. The number and type is completely up to you. The first and most widely used type is the operations model. The operations modeling capability can be used to examine any process that you can describe as a flow of tasks. Using this module, you will define the warfighters, missions, functions, and tasks. You will build a graphical task network that represents the tasks or activities performed during a mission. A common use of the operations model is to predict the mental workload experienced by an operator. The second type is the maintenance model. It allows you to predict maintenance manpower requirements and operational readiness. This module lets you enter parameters that control maintenance manpower pools, spare availability, and combat damage potential. These parameters, coupled with a mission schedule, or a scenario, and the data describing the maintenance actions that your system may need, are combined in a stochastic maintenance simulation. The third and newest module is called Forces. The objective of the Force Analysis module is to help you predict the manpower needed to perform the routine and unplanned work done by a force unit. Each force unit is defined by one or more jobs, or individual people, that perform various planned activities according to schedules. These same jobs also fill various job roles that are required to address any unplanned activities that arise and take priority over any regularly scheduled planned activities. The second tip is to participate in a training class. Hands-on imprint training classes are offered by Alliance Science and Technology and the Army Research Lab. They can be purchased. The regular class is three days in duration and can be held in beautiful Colorado or at your location. We can also customize the training based on user needs. We can make it shorter or longer. We can add more focus on maintenance or manpower or forces. For more information, please contact ARL or Lion at the emails listed on this slide. Tip three is to participate in an online community. Alliant maintains a SharePoint site where users can download the latest software, post questions, participate in online discussions, read published papers, and access other resources. If you do not already have access to the site, send an email to the ARL address listed on this slide. Tip 4 is to play with imprint until you feel comfortable with the interface. There are four main areas that you should get to know. The first is the analysis tree. You will use this a lot to add analysis elements, rename elements, and open various description windows. The center area is your work, main working area. If you're developing an operations model, this is where the task network will be graphically defined. It's also where description windows for entering data will appear. The properties window is an alternative to the description window for viewing and entering element data. Lastly, the output window is where imprint will display messages and show execution details. I suggest that once you have imprint, open it up and experiment with the different windows and library models. The fifth tip is to utilize the user, user documentation. There are several documents that have been created to help imprint users. There is a user, user guide that is over 1,000 pages, quick start guides, tutorials, analysis guide, user plugin guide, responsive HTML help, manuals for each plugin, and an installation guide. All of these are installed with imprint and can be accessed from the installation directory in a document subfolder. By default, this is the location, C program files x86, Imprint Pro 4 slash documentation. The last tip is to review the library models. Imprint comes with several library models. You can access them from the New Start page in the Imprint Library section or from the File menu. The number of models of each type are indicated next to the name, and each installed plugin will also have a sample model that can be accessed. Happy modeling! Thank you for your time viewing this video. My email address is shown here along with the email address to use when contacting ARL about imprint.